Hey guys, and this is Album Review for Opera Reviews. Today, I'll review my experience at the Metropolitan Opera Zaida last night. It was a very unique evening because almost every cast member was replaced. Brian Jagda was replaced by Lemmy Pullum, Latonia Moore by Michelle Bradley, and Anita Rashvelishvili by Alessia Petrova. Some of these cast changes worked, others, uh, not so much. The production was amazing. The triumphal scene was especially effective and contained spectacular ballet shows and even horses. The lighting was very satisfying as well. Another thing that is worth noting is that it is incredibly detailed. The Met Opera artists truly took their time in writing those hieroglyphs. This is a 10 out of 10 production. By the way, 10 out of 10 for those horses. The origin show is mostly amazing, especially in the moments where it swelled. In those moments, it resonated through the auditorium. The orchestra did overpower Petrova in some moments, but, however, it was not their fault. Overall, it was great. Michelle Bradley was pretty good. In her middle voice, she produced delicacy and round, well thought out notes. However, she was flat and strained in the higher notes, especially in Act 3. Overall, her Aida was not the best, but it was adequate. Lemmy Palom was robust and very good. He had a very strong voice and his tone was lower than most tenors. He blended well with Michelle Bradley, though his portrayal of a military leader was somewhat unrealistic. Alessia Petrova's nurse was strained and she legitimately sounded higher than Bradley. She had trouble covering the orchestra and had a few raspy notes. She left much to be desired, as she was replacing Anita Rashvelishvili. I have not seen Anita Rashvelishvili live yet, and I hear that she has a huge voice live, but on recording she does not sound too great, so I didn't know what to expect. Anyway, the other singers outshined Petrova in almost every way. This was a disappointing performance from her. So overall, the Saida was pretty good. There were ups and downs in the singing, but the production was amazing. However, I am still happy about my experience, so I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching Unbeviva Opera Reviews, and please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, make sure to see this production live, because it's their last couple of performances of it.